welcome back to the channel everybody today we're going to be unboxing this exclusive Tamashii Nation 2018 SH Figure Arts Ultraman Orb Dark and this one is one of those releases that kind of slipped under people's radar if you haven't gotten it by now good luck getting it at a decent price it's uh, ridiculous how much they're charging for this but it's an exclusive and it's the first release in the Ultraman Rosso and Blue or Rubu line and yeah here's the outer packaging it's a nice slip cover you got a nice black box with the Tamashi Nations logo and the nice blue flame effect there along with the logos and on the sides just the name of the figure in question as well as logos continuation on the back once again that blue flame looking pretty nice actually because you got a nice image of Ultraman or dark okay let's pull this sucker out of here and take this slip cover set it aside it's nice it's really cool I'm gonna keep that obviously but look at this tell me this isn't really cool this is a beautiful box absolutely gorgeous and there's a zero up there and I'm wondering if they are going to have different numbers on all of the Ruby releases because they have a ton of them coming out a ridiculous amount if you ask me but that being said really nice purple pinkish blackish box art here uh, I really love this color scheme that they went with with his box and you know you get the Tamashi Nations seal of quality sticker as well as some logos the Rubu logo and yeah Ultraman Orb Dark let's take a look at the sides here as you can see there's not much to talk about on top or on that side on this side of course you get the really nice Photoshop image of Ultraman Orb Dark and on the bottom just uh, some information nothing not the usual you will see and on the back promotional images with you know Ultraman Orb Dark as well as his Orb Caliber accessories and his pose signature pose I am actually gonna set him up like that on my table all right so now that we got that out of the way I wanted to get this guy out as soon as possible all right, so we're gonna open this from this side. It's already previously open. I got it off Mondorake.com, and for some reason, I guess whoever was handling this box was a Neanderthal. And just look at this crease here. Wow, what the hell, man? That's like nails on a chalkboard for me. To see that, oh, it breaks my heart. But anyways, let's get it out of here. Of course, they opened it already to check it out, but everything is in place. So, no promotional materials for the Rubu line. Set that aside. Look at the instructions. And all right, just a quick instructions of all the optional hand pieces and how to switch out the faceplate for the orb caliber. All right, so now that we got him out of here, let's, uh, well, some of his hands are getting loose in there. Let's take a look what we have. Did you see all the stuff he comes with? Yeah, basically. What this guy is, if you can't already tell by just looking at him, it's basically just a repaint of Orb Origins here. And yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, does it come with the optional color timer? Because Orb Dark, if you haven't seen Ultraman Rubu, I'm gonna spoiler alert, he doesn't have a blinking color timer. It's one color, it's one solid red piece. And I'm interested in seeing if this piece actually falls out as easily as the original Orb Origin. And Orb Origin the first. You're gonna undo this plastic part. Okay, everything set aside. Here we get the blank faceplate for the Orb Caliber. Nothing really interesting there. I am probably not gonna display the Orb Caliber at all with that one. But let's just take a look at this really nice looking Orb Caliber. Now, when you look at the Dark Orb Caliber, you can see the difference here, obviously. The paint, a lot less silver here, more black and reds. Really nicely done. Uh, you get some actual changes here to the faceplate. These are actually different from Orb Origins. Uh, same basic premise here, but different symbols. And of course, Orb Origins Signia was white, and over here on Orb Darks is a nice purple, metallic purple. Just take a look at the rest of the Orb Caliber. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm really liking this 
I actually like this better than the original. So anyways, let's set that aside. <clears throat> Moving on. Let's pull out Orb Dark. All right, no protective plastic this time. I'm sure he came with it, probably the previous owner or shop got rid of that stuff for me. Thank you, I guess. But anyways, I didn't break the bank with this as much as I thought I might, so. Wanna take a look here, that's, wow, looking pretty snazzy. Now don't get me wrong, I love every form of Ultraman Orb. This, being a separate character completely, I still like this a lot. And the reason being is the whole black and silver look without the reds in there, actually in my opinion look a bit more eye-catching to me. And not only that, but the eyes are a nice translucent red plastic, as well as this light here on top where his forehead is. And the color timer, believe it or not, it's not gonna pop out easily because it's actually glued in there. Yeah, you can't even remove that unless you, I mean, try some hot water and try to purposely remove it yourself. I don't see the point in doing so. You probably might break it. So just heads up, yeah, don't do that. Don't mess with that, leave it alone. But looking at him, he's looking pretty good. I can't see any paint slop or scratches or paint bubbling on this figure. You know, considering this is the third time they've released this sculpt, uh, really shouldn't be any problems. But, you know, it's the machinations, so it's always possible that it might happen. Take a look at the bottom of the feet. You got the trademark information as well as the symbols of the production run. First production run this one is, I probably the only, considering this is an exclusive. But, all right, so that's my unboxing for the Ultraman Orb Dark. I hope you guys were excited for this one as I was. Uh, it's uh, very hard to come by figure at this point and it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Always check sites like Mandarake because I actually got this guy for 6,500 yen on that website. And yeah, it took a little while to get here, but here it is. And I'm glad I didn't spend more than that because some people will find this to be a ripoff. But of course, I want to get into a little written death review for this one. So, when you guys see that, I don't know. I got a lot on my plate, so maybe in the near future? I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing for the Ultraman or Dark SH Figure Arts release. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are subbed. Don't forget the little bell icon as well so that you're up to date on any future video uploads for this channel. And yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I really do appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you all soon.